Down here, salt is a way of life. Obviously, the environment down here is all salt. The, the ceiling's salt, the floor is salt, the walls are salt, and to an extent, the air is salt. And you breathe that in, and you can constantly taste the salt. Fire the hole! And five and a half minutes later, the blast dislodges 300 tons of rock salt. We are going to make our country great again. And which Republican candidate <clears throat> has the best chance of winning the general election? Of the declared ones right now, Donald Trump. <laughs> Donald Trump wins the presidency. The business tycoon and TV personality capping his improbable political journey with an astounding upset victory. Donald J. Trump will become the 45th president of the United States, defeating Hillary Clinton in a campaign unlike anything we've seen in our lifetime. Because a vision softly creeping. <laughs> you're awake, by the way. You're not having a terrible, terrible dream. Also, you're not dead and you haven't gone to hell. This is your life now. This is our election now. This is us. This is our country. It's real. didn't it? It's not a nightmare that I'm in. It really happened. I have some feels to get off of my chest. I need to put it somewhere. Um, so if you're all electioned out, which I totally understand, just a heads up, you can bounce. My sweet sex posse babes, the Trumpocalypse has arrived. I am so sad and I am so angry and I know that for many of you, your spirit has been crushed by this whole thing just as much as mine has. So it's not really clear what exactly the future holds for us yet, but if we go by the election cycle, things do look bleak. For real, are we in the upside down right now? Because that's what it feels like. How the fuck did this happen? First and foremost, because we let it happen. And that's like the hard part to swallow. But you know what? We don't have to listen to it. If you, my dear internet friends, somewhere out there in the world are hurting today, I have four reminders for you. Four reminders for you. Make America great again. I'm fucking pissed, dude. Fuck Donald Trump. Fuck Latinos voting for Donald Trump. Fuck black people voting for Donald Trump. Fuck Cubans. Fuck Florida. Fuck you, dude. <laughs> Republicans better have something pretty special up their sleeve if they're going to try and beat what they did last time. Donald Trump, just last week, he confirmed to the National Review that he is again considering a run in 2016. Do it. <laughs> do, do it. Look, look at me. Do it. I will personally write you a campaign check now on behalf of this country, which does not want you to be president, but which badly wants you to run. <laughs> 
up, guys? I'm gonna sing you a song just saying that I don't like Donald Trump. Fuck Donald Trump! Fuck Donald Trump! Let's go, Harry Clinton. Fuck Donald Trump! If you vote for Donald Trump, well then fuck you! Sorry, Mom, but I had to do this. It's the only way. Because fuck Donald Trump. Because today's election day, and I don't know who's going to win. Hopefully, Harry Clinton wins, because I don't want no racist-ass nigga uh, Donald Trump to win. He says, build a wall between Mexico and the United States. Well, nigga, fuck you. It has to be a joke. I cannot believe this is happening. I'm literally about to fucking kill myself, and I'm not kidding. You better fucking fix this shit right now. I literally am going to die. I need an ambulance. I can't believe it. For many of us, it's hard to fully grasp the reality of what happened during the U.S. presidential election last night. The entire world was watching because the political and cultural effects of this election, perhaps more than any other election in recent history, will send shockwaves across the globe. And as the world was watching, we lost. The results of the election were a stark reminder that we still live in a white supremacist, patriarchal nation. Progressivism, economic equality, and human rights took a beating. Racism, misogyny, and Islamophobia won, as Americans affirmed white supremacy and patriarchy and hate. Hate for Muslims, refugees, people of color, the poor, the queer community. Sadly, the list seems endless. Now, it's not the time to mince words. The real world impact of negative images and reactionary words has never been more clear. Waking to a new day after a long and sleepless night, Many of us are still in deep shock and in a deep state of mourning. And we must give ourselves permission to grieve. And now for something completely different. Uh, give my uh, remarks to all of the Trump haters, all of the Hillary Clinton supporters, all of the people that said uh, that my Trump was gonna lose. So I say to you, this morning, the day after the election. Probably like most people that are gonna see. Well, maybe not because given the result, maybe I really am different, and maybe a lot of people that I'm surrounded by think with open minds and open hearts like I do. And I do want to say that I've been very vocal for my support for everyone besides Donald Trump. Heavily supported Bernie, heavily supported Hillary, and I still think that in her lifetime, she deserves to be the first female president. And that's what makes me so sad, <laughs> is that I just wish that she had that opportunity because she's fought for so long. And because I believe her when she says that she loves this country, this is all she's ever done. She's given her life to make it better. But like Donald Trump so ironically played after his speech, it said you can't always get what you want. And Happy hippies, we adjust and we accept everyone who they are. And so, Donald Trump, I accept you. And this hurts to say, but I even accept you as the president of the United States, and that's fine. That's fine, because I think now I want to be a hopeful hippie. And I want to be hopeful that you will step into... I just, and President Obama, Mr. Obama, I want to say thank you for everything you've done in these past years. But please, please just treat people with love and treat people with compassion and treat people with respect. And I will do the same for you. And anyway, anything you ever want to talk about or understand, Maybe people that don't think the same way that 
you and some of the people that support you do. Please, if you want to open your mind and you want to open your heart, I would love to give you a key. Thank you so much. Thank you, Hillary, for inspiring all of us.